I'm Brie, welcome back to my channel, Mummy of Four Does Disney. In today's video, I am outfit planning for our upcoming Walt Disney World trip to Florida in 2022. I will be sharing with you loads and loads of Disney bounding outfit ideas for the various parks. I've got outfits to share with you for both myself and my daughters. This video is also going to act as a bit of a pre-packing checklist for me to make sure I've got everything ready to pack. Make sure you are subscribed with bell notifications on for the pack with me video coming very, very soon. And then all of the vlogs when we get to Florida. If you're looking for something to watch after this video, before the Florida vlogs are live, make sure you check out our Disney Magic Cruise vlog series from summer of 2021. Now, without further ado, let's get on with looking at the outfits. So to fly to Florida, we're obviously going to be leaving the UK in January when it is cold and then flying to Florida where hopefully it will be nice and warm. So the girls have got long sleeved Minnie Mouse dresses and leggings and trainers, Minnie Mouse trainers. <laughs> so that they're super comfortable. I have also got Minnie Mouse trainers. So I am going in jeans, my 50th anniversary spirit jersey from Shop Disney. I'm taking my beautiful Cinderella Castle lounge fly in the 50th anniversary celebration colors. And my 50th anniversary ears. The girls have chosen some pink ears for Bella and some kind of rainbow ears for Zara. If you are looking for links for anything at all that I'm mentioning, there's always a blog post to go with each of these videos and all the links can be found in there. So underneath this, I've just got like a short sleeved navy t-shirt top thing. You've got vests underneath these, haven't you girls? Um, we've all got our uh, little hidden Mickey jewelry. So I've got an R for Ree, we've got a Buffer Bella and a Zephyr Zara with a little hidden Mickey, a little spark, bit of sparkle on there. We're gonna wear those sort of mostly throughout our trip, I think. Girls, which bags have you chosen to go onto the plane? I choose Belle dresses. Belle is your very favorite, isn't she? This is absolutely gorgeous. A lot of these bags, by the way, were very kindly gifted to me from Very Nico. Um, but like I said, you'll be able to find links to everything um, and a discount code in the blog post that goes with this, which can all be found in the description of the video. So that's gonna be your bag. Look out for a separate video where I'm gonna show you exactly what we're packing in our carry-on. And Zara has chosen Jolly Holiday with Mary. Mary is one of my favorites. One of your favorites too, isn't she, yeah. baby? It's absolutely beautiful. These are really nice sized uh, lounge fly bags. If you are trying to make these lounge fly bags shorter, by the way, in the straps, because the straps can be quite long in the mini backpacks, all you I've done, and if you can see, is I just tuck the strap back through this bit on itself, and that makes it a lot shorter, which means that the girls can wear it, or I can wear it a little bit shorter on my back. So, shall we show everyone what we're planning to wear to the parks? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> so our very first day in the Magic Kingdom, it's got to be the main mouse herself, Minnie Mouse. Minnie, Minnie Mouse. We actually wore these outfits for embarking the Disney Magic 2. We have got matching t-shirts. The boys aren't getting involved in Matchy Matchy for a lot, but the boys have got matching t-shirts for this first day in the Magic Kingdom look. And Dad even wore his, didn't he? Yeah. Which yeah. we were quite surprised at, so I'm sure he'll do that again. Um, I have got this very little lounge fly Minnie Mouse, which I love. Now, I did have my eye on this beautiful lounge fly from Very Nico that is due to be released in December. At the time I'm filming this video, it is not yet available. It's only available for pre-order under their membership scheme. It's not available for actual delivery yet, but I'm so tempted to get that bag because this, this bag suits this outfit quite well, I think, but wait till you see some upcoming outfits, especially for Hollywood Studios. I think that uh, Minnie Mouse Sweets bag would be amazing. Let me know what you think in the comments. So the girls have got these lovely Minnie Mouse dresses. They are the exact outfits that we wore on the cruise. I have got this spotty skirt. Um, I am actually wearing some cycling shorts underneath. <laughs> Um, that I have purchased um, and a lot of you suggested this for in the parks for when it's windy or getting on and off rides I did also have a couple of little Marilyn Monroe moments up on deck 10 in the cruise which were more than a little embarrassing 
So cycling shorts, I've only got them in the nude color at the moment, but I am gonna order some in black and some in white because some of you did point out that they do look a little bit like underwear when they are in the nude color, which I am inclined to agree with, but uh, they're probably better than flashing your actual underwear. So for shoes, I have got a choice between the Minnie Mouse trainers that I'm wearing for travel day and a choice of yellow sandals. Now these Haviani, Haviani, I never know if I'm saying them right, but this particular brand of flip flops is really, really comfortable. And I normally wear them all summer. Now, some of you have pointed out that Disney is a lot of walking. I do understand this. Um, and I would normally wear these in this country if we were going to Lagerland or something, but obviously Disney's probably gonna be a lot more walking. So maybe the trainers would be more sensible. Now, if you saw Embarking the Cruise, I actually took these. Um, I haven't actually worn these much since, um, so they're not specially worn in. I'm actually gonna wear the Minnie Mouse ones around the house to break them in a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna take both. The reason for yellow is you would be amazed how many Disney characters have yellow shoes, like so, so many. So if the flip-flops are gonna work and they are gonna be comfortable enough to walk around the park, I can recycle those for lots of different outfits because obviously I don't wanna take a million different pairs of shoes if I can get away with it just because of weight limits and space in the case. And the girls will either be wearing their flashy sandals, which were from Primark that they wore all of the cruise and a lot the summer, to be honest, and they found really comfortable, or the Minnie Mouse trainers, which were also from Primark. Then if it gets a bit cooler, I have got this gorgeous cake-worthy denim jacket, again, from Fairy Nico, all linked below, which I have to throw over any of my Disney-bound outfits if it gets a bit chilly. Then the girls have their little denim jackets too. These were originally from Jules and we've added some little pin badges that we got on the cruise. And these little jackets will go over anything the girls are wearing if it gets a bit cooler. Quite a few of these items will be recycled in other outfits throughout the trip. If you watched my pack with me for the cruise video, and if you see the pack with me for Florida video when that comes out, you'll know that we are gonna be using these lounge fly bags as packing cubes. So as this is the bag I'm taking to the Magic Kingdom with these outfits, all of these outfits are gonna be folded up really neatly and put inside the bag just to save space when packing. Because obviously, as you, as you can imagine, a trip for two weeks for six of us, we need a lot of stuff. Right, Gillies, should we do the next Magic Kingdom outfit? Yeah! yeah! So for our next day in Magic Kingdom, we have booked to go and eat in... Be our guest! Belle is my Bella's very, very favorite, is she not? Is that the place you're looking forward to going the most? Yeah. Yes. So it had to be a Beauty and the Beast themed Disney band. Now we've actually got three lounge fly that can be counted as Beauty and the Beast themed. So we've got this gorgeous Belle's dress cosplay bag, which is just stunning. So I'm gonna carry that one. We've got Belle's selection of dresses that Bella chose to carry onto the plane. So that won't need to be packed because you're carrying that one. And then we've got this one, which is an all over print princess bag, which features Belle. So that's fantastic. This is a really good, if you just want to take one bag to the parks and you want it to go for lots of different Disney bands, this would be a really good choice. Dresses wise, I have got this lovely lacy kind of, I guess kind of, 50s-ish tea dress, I don't know what you kind of call it. Um, we wore these outfits, different bags, but we wore these outfits on the cruise to go to Lumiere's, which is the Beauty and the Beast theme restaurant on board the Disney Magic. So the girls have got these little t-shirty dresses. These dresses oh. that the girls have were not expensive oh. at all. Oh, my jewelry, I forgot to show my jewelry. My jewelry, um, I have got the rose necklace and earrings, and then on my feet, it's either gonna be the yellow flip-flops again, see a lot of characters have yellow shoes, or it's gonna be the Minnie Mouse trainers, depending on how my feet are holding up. For one of the days in the Magic Kingdom, <laughs> we are booked into Cinderella's Royal Table. Dara is very, very excited about that. It's actually the restaurant inside the castle. Now I talk about this in my Things to Organize Before Florida video, but you have to pre-book a lot of the restaurants that are really popular that you want to go to. But Cinderella's Royal Table is one of the only ones I've not had to just pre-book, but pre-pay for. So we've paid for our meals in full, over a month before going. I think I booked that 60 days out. Anyway, all of that information is in that video, but I just thought it was worth mentioning 
because uh, I was not expecting to have to prepay. So which bag could it be other than the beautiful Cinderella Castle lounge fly? The girlies have got these rather cute summer dresses. They're just cottony. These dresses aren't itchy at all, are they girlies? No. Which is why you quite like them. And they're quite easy to machine wash, which a lot of the more costumey ones are not. They also fold up really small and for this costumes. Is the other bag. Oh, this is the bag you want to take to Cinderella's Royal Table. Yeah. Which I is think, yeah. Cinderella. It's Cinderella's mum's dress, isn't it? Um, we've got a separate Disney round to go exclusively with that bag, haven't we, for another one of the parks. But that's the bag that you've chosen you want to take into Cinderella's Royal Table. Um, ears wise, I've made a bit of a faux pas. I thought we had three pairs of these. It turns out we only had one pair, so the girls are gonna wear these, which are more kind of frozen themed, but I don't think it matters really, does it? Um, yeah. And then I have got this Cinderella uh, necklace with the shoe and the pumpkin carriage. This dress I used as an Elsa Disney bound on the cruise, but um, we've got a different Elsa Disney bound for Florida. Now for the last outfit in the Magic Kingdom, because we've got four days booked in the Magic Kingdom, we have got some Little Mermaid Disney bound outfits. So the girls have got quite traditional mermaid dresses with the, the kind of sparkly, scaly bottoms and the ears. Whereas I've got the kiss the girl look. So I've got the little bow on the back of my head. I've got the shalalala bag, or shalalala is what the girls call it because uh, that's in the song, isn't it? Can you sing Shalalala? The other mermaid bag that goes really well is obviously this all over print princess bag, which is just super versatile. So I've also got little mermaid jewellery as well as my hair bow. I've got a necklace, earrings, and a bracelet. The question is do I stick with the Shalalala kiss the girl look? Or. Do I go a little bit more extra, this is pretty extra, and match with the girls in a more traditional mermaid look? Yeah. What do you think, girlies? Should mummy do shalalala or mermaid to match with girls? Mermaid um, match with girls. I'm not sure. You're not sure. I think the uh, kiss the girl look is a little more subtle, a little more of a um, not so in your face Disney round. This is a lot more extra. But then if you can't be extra at Disney, where can you be extra? I don't know. <laughs> so on to Epcot. So one of the rides in Epcot is called Frozen Ever After, which we're quite excited to go on, aren't we? So Bella is Disney bounding as Elsa, the queen herself. Zara is Anna. Me. And I am a snowflake because Zara didn't want me to match with Bella and not her. So we've <laughs> Bella and I have got snowflake ears. I have got a little let it go necklace and a just a white vest top from Bowden and the twirly skirt that I also used for potentially the outfit I'm gonna do for the Kiss the Girl Little Mermaid. Zara has got Anna themed ears and a little Anna dress. Yeah. Just again, another one of these, these little inexpensive dresses. Now Very Nico do have a very beautiful Elsa themed bag that I've been so tempted to order. There would be time to order it technically with next day delivery. But if I don't go for that bag, I am gonna take the Cinderella bag to Epcot when we're Disney bounding as Elsa and Anna because I figured Cinderella's palace could also be Elsa's ice castle, don't you think? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think so. I think so. So what, these are our Epcot Disney bounds. Whee! Let's look at the next Epcot one, shall we? Yeah. yeah. Now, if you've been following me on my main channel for a while, you'll know I'm a huge fan of Mary Poppins, always have been. Julie Andrews is everything. One of my other favorite films happens to be The Sound of Music. Anyway, maybe it's just the fact that she can click her fingers and her whole house, you know, gets tidied. That's a bit amazing. But this Jolly Holiday bag has got to be one of my absolute favorites. And we heard a rumor that you can meet Mary Poppins in the UK pavilion in Epcot. So we are keeping everything crossed for that. The girls have got jolly holiday dresses as well. I've just got a little lace dress and red bow belt. I've got a Mary Poppins necklace and a little Mary Poppins bracelet as well. Both of those were from Etsy and everything, as I mentioned before, is linked in this blog post below. Necklace. 
So what do we think of these uh, cut outfits, girlies? Amazing. Good. Do you like them? And look at her neck. I'm rather excited. Necklace. Yes. Which is your favourite outfit so far? Um, uh, Belle. I can't Belle, choose. Belle, you can't choose. Can you use us? Because no. I quite like how the dress is designed. Yes, me too. Right, I let like me know in the comments, Cinderella. by the way, which is your favourite outfit so far. Right. I like a Cinderella. Two more Epcot outfits, and then we'll go on to Hollywood Studios. Okay, now, for the next Epcot Disney bound, we've got to do something with Cinderella's pink dress, because this bag is just too stunning to ignore. So, it's not specifically related to a ride in Epcot, but Epcot is Disney and so is Cinderella, so we're going with it. So the girls have got these pink dresses, which could also be Aurora's pink dress, I think, but we're going with Cinderella in the pink dress. Yeah. I have got these blue beads to match Cinderella's and we've all got the little white bow hair bands, which are actually the same as the ones that we use for Mary, aren't they? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Right, last Epcot Disney bound, then on to Hollywood Studios. So for our last Epcot Disney bound, we have got Disney's original princess, Snow White. So for this, we've got some Snow White colored ears. I've got a little apple necklace. The girls have got Snow White colored dresses and I have got just a yellow skater skirt, blue top and red but. bow belt. Now the question is which bag to use for this. Very Nico do have a very nice brown Snow White bag. They've also got, which I believe is an exclusive, a Seven Dwarfs themed lounge fly bag. I don't have any of those. So out of the ones we've got, it's between Belle, because there's yellow in it, the all over princesses. Actually, I don't think Snow White is one of the princesses, but does it matter because it's a lot of princesses. Oh. And she was the first princess, she was the founding princess. So would that work? Yeah. It I could guess. work. Yeah. We could use this because there's red in it, or we could use the castle, so any of them really. Um, I guess I'm leaning towards this one. You think Cinderella? I'm not, I think Cinderella's probably the only one that doesn't go. What do you think? Mm, but it does have yellow. It does have yellow on the strap, that's right. So I think I'm gonna lean towards this one. Girls, you can pick whichever one, or maybe the bell one, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I think the bell one. Okay, you use the bell one, you use that. So for Galaxy's Edge in Hollywood yeah. Studios, we have got a Star Wars Disney bounding day. So this lounge fly tote is really gorgeous. It's got BB-8 on one side and R2-D2, who's my personal favorite, on the other side. Now this is option one for my yeah. Galaxy's Edge Disney bound. This is more understated. I've got the ears that I bought on the Disney Magic Cruise in the summer. And it's a very just, you know, ties in with the colors R2-D2. I'll show you option two in a second, which is a bit more extra. Bella is the lovely Princess Leia. Can we have a little twirl back here, Baz? Gorgeous, gorgeous. And Zara is the feisty Ray. Boo! Boo. 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 <laughs> I am gonna have to practice their hair a little bit before we go. Will that do, though? Is that close enough for yeah. Ray? I don't really know. Mommy. Yes, Ray darling. Has oh, this this is Star Wars show which we watched um, on, on YouTube. the Christmas holidays. Right, on YouTube, yes. Yeah. And there was Ray. Yes, and she was cool. Yeah. She was fighting Darth Vader. Well, oh, whatever. wow. Wow, amazing. So this is option one Disney bound for R2-D2. Is this better or is this rather extra version a better R2-D2 Disney bound? Can I get away with this in my very late 30s? What do we think? Yeah. Girlies, which one do you think? Mm, Muted? That one. You think extra? You think all out? Mm. Yeah. You think this one, do you? Mm, mm, mm. Well, that's what the girls vote for. What do you guys think? Now, Hollywood Studios also has a Toy Story Land. So, we've already got a bow peep. Bella wore this outfit on the cruise. Gives a little twirl bells. Zara <laughs> is Jessie. Again, <laughs> another outfit we are recycling from the cruise. And, can you guess who I am? Gabby 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 Gabby, 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 Gabby. The one and only, slightly misguided Gabby Gabby. I'm gonna use this bell bag because I don't have a Toy Story bag as such. They have released a Rex bag and there is also a Lotso Strawberry Bear bag, which both of those would be very, very lovely. But I think as I already have this one, we're already packing it, then this is gonna be the best option for our Toy Story Disney bound yeah! this time. 
For day three of Hollywood Studios, we've got a bit of a mix of outfits. So I am Disney bounding to go along with this Sorcerer Mickey bag. There are some really stunning Sorcerer Mickey ears that I'm so, so tempted to get before we go. Should I or not? I think I might need them to complete the outfit. Anyway, I have got a red skater skirt, a red vest top, and just some gold ribbon. I've got yellow flip-flops, if flip-flops actually turn out to be okay to walk in. Now I could, for Sorcerer Mickey, put on the blue skirt on the bottom that I had on earlier as an option when I was doing the more muted Disney bound for R2-D2. So is the red okay or would the blue be better? We'll try that in a second. The red's okay. Bella has decided that this Alice dress is actually better as a Belle dress. So she has got the... Belle dresses lounge fly, a blue bow in her hair, and she is Belle in her village dress, as the girls call it. Zara has decided that this blue dress represents Alice, has got... Because it actually is. Because it actually is, I see. Okay. And, and, and she's got a beautiful Alice in Wonderland lounge fly wow. to wear to Disney Hollywood Studios. Answer me in the comments now. Should Sorcerer Mickey have a red skirt or a blue skirt. Is a blue skirt more Sorcerer Mickey? I know technically he's got blue on his hat. I think he's actually got blue underneath his cloak as well. So which is a better option for a Disney bound and do we need the ears? And for our final day in Disney's Hollywood studios, we've got a bit of a mix and match again. I have got a dress that goes with these lovely ears I got from Shop Disney, kind of 50s, twirly, spotty, very kind of Minnie Mouse. Don't know whether to pair it with a belt again. Yeah. So should it go with, with a white belt maybe? Yeah. Is that an option? Yeah. Or a red belt for like no. a pop of colour? I, I don't know, maybe. take a look and see what you think. Take a look. I think maybe white. Red belt for a pop of colour, that could work. The most appropriate bag that I own is this bag, but the bag that I was discussing earlier, the one that's about to release at the time of filming, the Minnie Mouse with the cupcake bag, I think would go beautifully with this dress and that Minnie Mouse outfit we're gonna wear on day one in the Magic Kingdom too. So if that releases in time, ooh, so tempted to order it. But what do we think of this? I don't know, this also comes off. I could technically wear that on a belt. I don't know if that's a bit much. The girls have got these kind of all over Disney characters. So they're all like in Mickey shapes. Like Belle. There's Belle, Goofy, Goofy Little Belle. Mermaid, lots of different things. Give us a twirl, Belle. And they've just got some, uh, the little white headbands Mommy, as I well. I know a lot of the Hollywood studios, it's quite 50s themed. I think we've booked to eat in Hollywood and Vine as well as the sci-fi, which is like the one that's like a drive-in restaurant with all the lovely 50s cars and things. So as you can tell, a lot of my outfits are quite 50s themed. I just love that kind of era and that kind of look and the kind of the twirly dresses. So which is better, no belt, white belt or red belt with this white. dress? We've got just two days in Animal Kingdom. And if I'm honest, it's the park I struggled with the most when it comes to outfits. So I'm basing my outfits on these ears. I've got this Hakuna Matata t-shirt. There was a Lion King t-shirt with a lot more yellow on it that I did end up sending back from this haul because I felt it just didn't go with the skirt as well. So to be honest, I'm gonna be a bit boring with uh, Animal Kingdom and just wear this skirt with a Hakuna Matata t-shirt on one day and then on another day I'm gonna wear the exact same skirt with just a plain vest top and the same ears. Bag wise I don't have anything super appropriate at all so maybe yellow, maybe this one because it's got the beigey on it or maybe just castles or mini, I mean none of them go as such so I think it's just gonna be a case of putting something random. I don't have any Animal Kingdom Disney bounds at all for the girls. They have got Merida dresses that they 
quite want to wear um, and there's nowhere else that sort of screams wear me to this park so they're gonna wear those to the Animal Kingdom. They've also got some greeny dresses that Zara thinks of Tinkerbell, Bella thinks of Tiana um, and they want to wear those as well and since they haven't been allocated to any other parks they will also be worn to the Animal Kingdom. So now I need to turn all of this chaos all around me into some sort of making a start on actually packing for our trip. I'm keeping absolutely everything crossed that it goes ahead with the restrictions and things. As it stands at the time of filming, we're allowed to go. We are all set. We've got all our paperwork filled out, all our tests have been ordered and paid for. All of the things that need to be done before going to Florida are done. So there is a video coming your way all about the things that need to be done before Florida. If you're watching this sometime in the future, that will already be live and you'll be able to find that down in the description and just generally on a Florida playlist on my channel. So look out for the pack with me and make sure you are subscribed with bell notifications on for when the vlog series starts. I cannot wait to share it with you. I absolutely loved editing and sharing the Disney Cruise vlogs. They were just so, so magical and your comments were just, just brought tears to my eyes and I'm happy and sorry that the vlogs brought tears to your eyes too. I'm glad you enjoyed them so much. So thank you so much for watching. Give it a massive thumbs up. Choose a video from on screen now. I shall see you over there. Bye.